Hello everyone, today we are doing a uh, cybercrafted room on Trihetme. So uh, I have already done the roster scan. So let's look at the results. Here uh, we have port to open here and uh, AT for HTTP that is Apache 2.4.29, supposedly uh, vulnerable to RCE and LFI. But you cannot exploit uh, because there's no CGI open folder on this box. Then we have 25565 port open that is for Minecraft 1.7.2. So we cannot access SSH as we do not have any credentials. You can try boot forcing, but uh, that's a failure. Then we have uh, HTTP. So let's quickly open this up in your browser. <laughs> now, as we hit enter, we see that the uh, IP changes to cybercraft.thm. So let's copy this and let's add this entry in our etc host file. So, uh, let's say cybercraft.thm, not the HTTP, uh, and the IP here, this, okay. Perfect. So, let's see, we have welcome to cybercrafted, both the online store and the Minecraft server are in development. So, we know that there's an online store, as it is specified here, and a Minecraft server. We know that Minecraft server is on port 25565 and that is under development. And what about the store? We don't see any store. So it could be uh, a store, it could be like this. Maybe cybercraft.thm slash store. We browse over it and we see the found. So it could be either a directory or a subdomain or a completely different site. So um, let's see the uh, source code of this web page. So view source. And we see a note to the developer that says just finished up adding other subdomains. Now you can work on them. So we know that there are some subdomains. So let's try boot forcing the subdomains using GoBuster. So GoBuster host for specifying the subdomains. And then we are using setlist discovery DNS subdomains uh, top 1 million word list. So uh, let's hit enter. And quickly we see a subdomain named admin and store as we suspected it. So let's add these entries again in uh, at the host file. Oops. Uh, she added at the host. I think I should work in root terminal. And then we have uh, admin and the uh, store. Okay, save this, exit out. And let's browse to admin.cybercrafted. Let's admin. Remove the view source. Okay. And we can see uh, a login page. We can just try for default passwords quickly, like admin password. And it says incorrect username and password. We can try SQL injection here. It's a basic one. Copy paste this and it says incorrect username and password. So it looks like it's not vulnerable to SQLI. You can also try this one. Copy paste this and it says incorrect username and password. You can view the uh, source code of this. Uh, view page source. And there's nothing interesting right there. But we know that there's an assets directory here. We browse to it and remove this login to CSS. Remove the view source and we see some files, some PNG, and some font files. Nothing interesting right there. So we need credentials to log into the admin. So let's browse to store.cybercraft.htm and it says forbidden. So you don't have permissions to access this resource. So let's just copy this and maybe you can view some. And directories of files in this, so we'll try uh, go buster directories here. Yeah, I have pre-filled the uh, entries here. So dash u for specifying the URL that is stored at this one and dash w for word list. This is I'm using the 2.3 medium word list with the extensions of PHP HTML and text file. Wait enter and we see index.html that is the default one. Uh, let's see index.html it is forbidden and then we have search.php let's quickly browse over it search.php we have store search okay so it says browse the store to purchase in-game items so we can 
from the store to purchase the items let's see the page source if there's anything interesting uh looks like there isn't we have another assets directory here so on this remove use source and again some font files and png files nothing interesting okay so it says you can search the store okay so i'll say uh, mine maybe oh, i type mines mine and it's it output it some okay so it's searching for the item name we say uh something like a maybe and we have a couple of results that have a in them okay so it looks like it's using this a database and uh, it's maybe vulnerable to uh sqli we can verify that by uh putting uh apostrophe here and hit enter and there's nothing oops ah uh, yeah oh my god <laughs> uh let me just start the burp because it's easy to enumerate these types of stuff in burp suit now let's try our default payload um let's apostrophe or or one equals one and then comment we hit enter and we see that <clears throat> we have all uh, entries in the database it's like so yeah it's vulnerable to sqli i suppose um let's uh take this request in burp quickly uh okay a hit enter let's send it to repeater let me increase the font size here i'll say 24 maybe um okay yeah this one is good i guess okay so if input to r1 equals to one you are encode this with the control u we see uh wait, let's just render this uh you should see this stuff right here i think a lot of time actually sometimes it's a bit tedious to work with the burp suit so let's just do it manually here okay um we know that's vulnerable to sql injection so let's try union based sql injection so i'll say uh apostrophe and then uh, union select and now we need to find the number of uh, columns here in order to inject successfully so i'll say null and then comment to comment the rest of the query and we see there's no entry here then again we do null again no entry right there so we keep increasing it until unless we see some response or some error okay so we have another response that is different with the last one because there was nothing in the last one and we have a, a couple of results here so if we remove one more null here and we have three nulls here and there's no there's nothing now so we know that yeah there are four columns because if we input four null then we see a list here okay so um if you just browse to the end you'll see that there's uh entry that is null okay so instead of browsing we can just enter anything like one three one two three so it does not output any anything instead except null let's copy this search this and we have <coughs> our entry here null entries so uh I suppose that this null is a one like id this is id and then item name amount and then cost i suppose because if you enter uh, one here and then you search there's nothing now if you enter one here this one and you see the item name here okay so you enter one two three and then anything here like five you see one to three but not five because it's the id if you worked with the mysql databases you know what i'm talking about and uh, let's see if you can input uh, strings here so i'll say a and then enter here and we can input strings here because if you cannot input uh, if you cannot output strings here then you won't be able to retrieve data out of it so we see that yes we can retrieve strings in all the three columns so let's see what database is in use we'll say aggregate aggregate database no it's uh it's i guess database and then 
parentheses, I guess. Yeah, so that's parentheses. We know that the web app database is in use. We can also add the version in use. <coughs> and it says 5.7.3.5. Okay. So we know the database name. Now let's see uh, the tables that are in use in this database. We can quickly do, do that with the help of information schema. Uh, okay, so uh, it's we say union select then table name table names we go at the variant and we say from i guess this there should be a space in here yeah from information schema dot tables uh we hit enter and we see nothing okay let's try one more time table name and from information schema dot tables i guess this should be right anyhow we have a couple of <clears throat> we have lots of table names here uh it's, so let's make it a bit easy because we don't know uh what uh, database this table belongs to so we'll say table name and then in the very next column we'll say it table schema or uh, we hit enter and we see the table Sorry, database name listed now in front of the table name. So table schema outputs the database name. So we have nothing to do with these uh, default tables, sorry, databases. We just need the web app database and that is right here. And we see that we have admin table and the stock table. And we are interested in the admin table because uh, we are going for the, you know, the passwords. So we know that, yeah, there's an admin table. Now we will change our query a little bit and we we'll say instead of table name, we we'll say column name from information schema dot columns. And okay, just just wait. Yeah, we have column name and then <clears throat> we'll say uh, table schema. So we have uh, database name in front of that okay so actually instead of database name we should uh, use maybe table name i guess i'm a bit confused just a second yeah so we have column name here and here we should have the table name okay yeah it's fine now i know it's a long list but this uh, is good <clears throat> so we have a table admin and we know what columns are inside the admin we have id user and hash and the stock table we have these number of columns Okay, so we are going for the user and hash in the admin table. So let's do that. It's a bit tedious sometimes, but it works. Okay, so let me just clear this out. Uh, yeah, so union select null, and then we'll say user hash and then null from information oh sorry from admin best uh, command that the rest of the query hit enter and we have <clears throat> uh, two entries right there so if you do not use null here and you just say from admin uh, the query will fail and that is because uh, you should be using null here to uh, specify that yeah you have the value in the fourth column in the cost so you copy this and we have the results here uh we, oh, oh god <laughs> i forgot to reject the flag no worries okay so we have the username and the hash here we copy this hash and we can use maybe crack station to crack this password uh paste this in i'm not robot crack the hashes okay capture And we just have the password right here. So it's diamond and one two three four five six seven eight nine. 
and that is for the ultimate fever so now maybe we can log into the admin panel here the admin that cybercraft paste in the password and the username is ultimate creeper we sign in and we are signed in okay it says run system command so it's pretty straightforward here you can run this commands here so we'll just say id and we are WWS data user okay so we can use the reverse shell cheat sheet uh, i just see if netcat is in the box so which nc and we see that it says bin nc so yeah netcat is on the box so we will use this reverse shell just paste it in and replace your track me ip here one two three four copy paste Oops. Open the netcat listener and see the cell in twenty two four, press enter, and your cell right there. Now uh user stuff here, export term equals to X term and Python three dash C import PTY, PTY dot spawn. Oh god. Okay, then bash. Okay. Now we can clear the screen and then we have a good well <clears throat> now you can open this db connection file here and you know that uh, host of the localhost user is a root and the password is nothing just a blank and the database name was web app. so these are the credentials of mysql that is running locally on this box and you know that it's running locally because uh, when we ran an nweb scan we did not see uh port 3306 as open because it's running locally on this box now we have port 2 for double five six five open there is for minecraft and let's see the number of users that are on this box so we have cybercrafted and ultimate creeper uh we cannot get into the cybercrafted user uh home folder because we do not have permissions for that but we can get into the ultimate creeper so let's get in there and we see dot ssh folder right there see the ssh let's create a screen and we see that uh, we have idea as a key right there so maybe we can uh, ssh as ultimate creeper we get out the idea as a file and we see that it's encrypted it says for encrypted aes 128 cbc so we can decrypt this by just just copy this Switch the shell, sorry, terminal, and uh, let's just paste it in. Okay, idea to say, save this, and in order to let us let me just show you something. Let's say get more idea to say, so we can SSH as <coughs> ultimate keeper. So we say SSH dash I for specifying, and then cyber. Uh, Wait a second. We are going to SSH as this user, so replace the username here. Press enter. And there it asks for the passphrase of IDRSA. So, yeah, we know that it is encrypted and um, it needs a password in order to be logged in. So, um, we, but we do not have any password except for the diamond one. It was diamond 23 because 789. If you enter it, it does not accept it. So yeah, uh, you need the password in order to log in. And uh, because it's encrypted, uh, we can use SSH to yawn. So you can uh, uh, propose the uh, SSH file. So if you have specified SSH, SSH file, uh, uh, IDRS file, sorry. Uh, if you said permission, then I'd watch. <laughs> sorry. Oops. Oh yeah, we need file control release. This can to open. Um, it looks weird. Switch to John. Okay, let's copy this file to the current directory and we'll say Python 3. Okay, yeah, so we have a hash here. So literally, uh, John just uh, uh, did make a hash of this idea as the file so that we can uh, brute force this. Maybe crack the password. So again, executing it, but this time we are saving it in 
a hash file so we have idrsa dot hash file here okay let's just zoom in yeah now you can use uh, john and then specify the file here with the rocky word list and then it just continues on to brute force this file and in a bit we see the password pop up on our screen for this idea as a file so uh, we have the password here uh, let's try logging in and then we place the password here and we are in we are in as ultimate creeper perfect so let's see uh i guess we don't have the password of ultimate creeper so we cannot execute sudo dash l either yeah it is wrong password okay now um if you go to the op directory here you'll see that we have a minecraft folder personally when i saw this box i came to know about this minecraft folder uh because uh, i thought that yeah on port 2 double five six five there is a minecraft server so there should be a minecraft folder somewhere so what i did was i did a find slash and then dash name i just did minecraft and then i said do not output any errors here so let me know and when this finished uh, it uh, i came to know that there's a minecraft folder in the op directory so this should take a time so i am canceling it Okay, so uh, there's a note here and it says that there's a new plugin within the server so this is all we need and therefore we have a flag here we go into cyber graphic folder sorry for the background noise if you can hear it because there's some construction going on i, I apologize then we have plugins here so let's get into the plugins folder and we have login system uh, oops yeah cd login system login system is the plugin that we are looking for and it says password that's why i'm file. so we just get out the passwords and we have cybercrafted and mandrange okay so we have the hashes here let's just copy these hashes onto uh our text file okay now we should also review these ones we have log file oh okay it started login system, then cybercrafted registered. PW could probably mean password, I guess. The password is Java edition is greater than bedrock. And then again, he logged in with this password. Again, he logged in some time later with the same password. And Mandrinch also logged in with the password, password123. So it looks like uh, this log file is not encrypting the passwords before displaying them so uh, this plugin is vulnerable to insecure storage of passwords so we know that cybercraft logged in with this password so this could be the password he used uh, to log into the server on this box we can quickly verify that by i uh, just uh, uh, logging into his user he says cybercrafted and paste the password java edition is greater than bedrock we paste this in press enter and we are in as cybercrafted so yeah uh we are in now we can execute sudo dash l because we know the password of this user press the password and it's it says user when screen dash r cybercrafted okay so at this point let me just close this one yeah so let's just open the main page of the screen you see it says it's a screen manager with the terminal emulation so Screen is a full screen window manager that multiplexes this physical terminal between separate processes. And this when a screen is called, it creates a single window with a shell in it. So it creates a window with a shell in it, and uh, uh, there are some shortcut keys here. So this is uh, if you are impatient and want to get started with doing a lot more reading, you should remember this one command C A. So C stands for control and A is A, control A. So it says that typing these two characters will display a list of available screen commands and their bindings. All right. 
then we have a couple of more results here and if you keep reading this man file ultimately you will come to know that uh, this control a and c as well as control a c can be used to create a window and if you execute uh, this command as sudo you press enter so we are in some sort of uh, i guess uh window uh, of a minecraft server so it says type help for more info i type help and it says this is a minecraft commands i suppose i have not fed minecraft so i don't know much so it looks like this is it. so if we exit, try to exit out of this we cannot because it's, we are in a window of uh, Minecraft, I, I suppose. So if I press Control D to exit out of it, or maybe Control C, uh, we, we exit out of the screen instead, instead of uh, that uh, uh, binary things that we are in. So, but in the main page, we saw that we can use Control A, Control A C to create a new window. So let's just try that here. I I'll say control a and then press c and we are in a new window and if we say, if we say well, where am i we are root so that's, that's that's all you want so let's just go cd root and we are the root flag here so that's about that if you have any doubts if you do not understand, understand anything you can join my discord server or either you can ask in the comments i'll be answering them so thank you for watching i'll see you next time